Hello teachers and friends, today the topic that I'm going to be talking about is Biology is the study of life and living organisms Dawn of life Many scientists believe that Earth was formed 5 billion years ago from an enormous cloud of gases At that time the atmospheric conditions were harsh and the environment was unstable so it's totally unsuitable for life as we know it. But at 2.8 billion years ago, these organisms probably fed on molecules on a solid soup called the primordial soup, which is the simplest organisms at the shallow seas on the Earth at the time. Characteristics of living organisms. These are some characteristics of living organisms. Respiration, irritability, nutrition, growth and development, excretion, and reproduce. As you can see, I highlighted the, the first letter of each word in red and forms to a word called ringer. This ringer word is particularly useful in, if, you can't pro, if you can't remember one of the words in the characteristics of living organisms. Characteristics of life depend on each other. As you can see, you can each of the characteristics of life is linked to each other. For example, organisms can only grow if they are nourished and they can only excrete when they are nourished. They these are carried out by the organization of cells and tissues. Energy must be expended to maintain life. This is about that the organization of in living things and their ability to carry out their life processes depends on the supply of energy. Without the energy, life would not even exist. This is one of the characteristics of living organisms which I'm going to be talking about now. Respiration. Respiration is the act of chemical reactions to break down nutrient molecules. The form of respiration that releases the most energy uses oxygen. And many organisms have gaseous exchange system that supplies their cells with oxygen from their environment. Irritability is known as sensitivity. This is having the ability to detect and or sense changes in an internal or internal environment. These changes are called stimuli and they are often respond by, respond by movement. Nutrition Nutrition is the act of taking material for growth, energy and development. Eating and drinking are examples of it. Plants require light carbon dioxide and water ions to make their food using the process for the synthesis. Animals require organic compounds and iron and obtain their food that are plants by eating them. Growth and development. Growth and development is the process in which organism changes in size and form. Growth, growth means changes of dry mass per, for permanent, and development means changes in complexity of the body. Excretion. Excretion is the act of removing waste product and toxic material from toxic materials from our body. Reproduction. Reproduction is the process that make more of the same kind of organisms, a new individual. Reproduction makes new organisms of the same species as as the parents. The, this depends on the set of chemical plants and genetic information contained within each organisms. And in conclusion, we can say that the primordial soup is the first organism on Earth. The characteristics of living organisms are important for them to survive. Ringer is the short form of each characteristics of living organisms, and it should be easier to memorize as in our head. And living organisms, living things, show variation. The offspring are often different from each one and each other from their parents, which they variate from each other. Thanks for watching.